ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respect. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Shri Mahans, Mahans, Tanidhar, Kotaris, visitors, viewers, sitting with us all over the world through Nityananda TV and two-way video conferencing, having Naina Diksha. I welcome every one of you with my love and respects. I offer your devotion to Devi Nityanandi Shri Parashakti and Ananda Venkateshwara on this Navaratri Brahmotsavam, Navaratri Mahotsavam and enter into the Satsang. I will continue to expand on Jnana Pada ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಕಂಪೈಲೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಶಿವ ವೇದಾಸ ನಾಗಮಾಸ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸನಾತನ ಹಿಂದೂ ಧರ್ಮ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ತತ್ಸರ್ವ ಕದಯಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಯೋಗಯುಕ್ತ್ಯಾಶೃಣು ಪ್ರಿಯ ಯತ್ಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿಜ ಶುದ್ಧ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ಸರ್ವದೋ ಮುಖಭೂತಾಂತರಾವಸ್ತ ಸರ್ವ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಷು ಜೀವನ ಯೋಗ ಗಮ್ಯ ದುರಾಸಾದ ದುಷ್ಪ್ರಾಬಂಕೃತಾದಂಬಿ ಐಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋಗ ದ ಯುನೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ನಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ it's existing within all living creatures and present in the hearts of all things attained by yoga difficult to accomplish hard to attain for all being see when parama shiva starts enlightening devi the first thing he introduces about himself is his cosmological aspect of him understand he is amazing zillions of aspects ananta kalyana gunas dimensions he could have explained about his compassion he could have explained about his love he could have started about his powers he could have started about his valors he could have started about his abilities no understand he is starting to explain his reality the cosmological dimension of him which is the fundamental lesson for every being inside this cosmos listen one of the biggest mistake human beings do what is the need to understand about the cosmos 
you are too involved in your traffic rules you forget the vision why the traffic rules are developed if you are too involved in the traffic rules your life will go in either you how many tickets you got and how many times you broke the rules did not get the tickets complete silly game the biggest pleasure you will be having is you broke the rules jumped red light and did not get the ticket biggest problem you will be having is you got the ticket you are too much bothered about just the traffic rules not the vision why the rules are developed if you understand the vision it's not that you will not follow the rules you will follow the rules but you will never even be remembering are loaded by the traffic rules understanding about the vision of the cosmos takes away the load of you are so called silly life from you understand whether you are over sex or under sex over joyed or under joyed over pained or under pained over paid or under paid you are right wrong morality good bad everything as long as it is from the silly view of the life your life will be silly if you realize the vision of the cosmos your life will be so beautiful you will evolve something like a cosmic moral it's not that you will break the morals it's not that you will become chaotic no you will evolve you will manifest a space which will be so beautifully moral and so free mature understanding about the cosmos matures you are being understand parama shiva starts with the understanding starts with the revelation yatsvarupam nijam suddham vyapakam sarvato mukham my real form is true and pure all pervading vyapakam means anywhere the i is experienced he is there filling you understand in e equal to mc square einstein is trying to maintain the speed of the light as a constant listen carefully speed of the light or time is not constant i'll tell you what is exactly constant consciousness reflecting on the space the fifth dimension of the universe consciousness reflecting is constant in all our consciousness parama shiva is reflecting in all our inner space parama shiva is reflecting that is constant understand this five elements and five dimensions are related length breadth depth time and space earth water fire air and space this five are connected listen carefully when parama shiva cosmic consciousness reflects in your inner space that reflection is constant in all beings 
not speed of the light or time time and speed of the light is not constant but the way super consciousness parama shiva reflects in your inner space is constant means the way cosmic consciousness dances reflects in your pure inner space the way sada shiva dances in your chitampara is constant all the beings who feel aham he exists in that that is the only constant understand from that starts the will persistence manifest the will persistence whoever gets back to that source from which he is reflecting all of them fall into that space called oneness which is constant parama shiva is equivalent to the will persistence decision to look at the source by the reflection the constant in the cosmos is feeling of aham there is nothing in the cosmos which does not feel the aham including stone stavara jangama everything feels the existence of aham when mahadeva parama shiva says vyapakam anything which feels aham he is in that listen carefully length breadth depth time space the pure consciousness reflects on the space that reflection is individual consciousness called aham the frequency of that reflection is constant in everything but the side effect of that reflection will persistence is not constant in everything reflection is constant will persistence is not so based on your will persistence your life is designed are you going to spend 80% of your time in time related or depth related or length related or breath related existence of you neither length nor breath or depth or time is low or wrong but you not knowing the source vision your reality which is constant and playing in these other dimensions there is every possibility you will get lost if you know what is constant in you you will not get lost in length breadth depth time and space you can go there and play and come back if you know the vision why the traffic rules are developed even if there is a ticket you will not collapse for it you will not take sad decisions about your life understand almost 99% of the time you invoke
सच वर्स्ट लाइफ डिस्ट्रक्टिव डिसीशन ड्यू टू यूअर टेम्प्ररी सैडनेस यू डू द डिसीशन विच परमानेंटली डेमेज यूर लाइफ बिकॉज यू आर टेम्प्ररी सैड अंडरस्टैंड If you just remove that one quality from your life, you will ever be blissful. I tell you. If you have the vision of the cosmos, you will never make permanently damaging decisions in your life because you are temporarily sad. For example, I'll give you an example. You jump to the red signal in the traffic. and cop gives you ticket out of anger arrogance you pick up the gun and shoot him so you have permanently damaged your life due to temporary mood swing a person who understands the vision why the traffic rules are developed will never pick up the gun on cop even if the cop has done a mistake he knows this can be argued debated and the outcome will even if it is going against you will not be permanently damaging your life but picking up a gun and killing the cop is going to permanently damage your life understand all the damage in your life is because of the delusion forgetting the cosmic vision and making the decision which damages you permanently due to the temporary mood swing the apasmara will not be able to make you do actions if you remember your cosmic identity if you remember the constant in you which is your chidambara where the cosmic reflection paramashiva cosmic source paramashiva is dancing in your pure heart ananda ganda your inner space listen cosmic paramashiva is like a sun your pure inner space that space chidambara आकाश अंतराकाश चिताकाश इज लाइक ए मिरर दैट सन रिफ्लेक्टिंग इन दिस दिस रिफ्लेक्शन इज कॉल्ड इंडिविजुअल कॉन्शियसनेस प्रत्येकात्म चैतन्यम दट इज द कॉन्स्टंट इन ऑल बीइंग्स दिस कॉन्स्टंट फर्स्ट साइड एफेक्ट इज विल परसिस्ट that is not constant in all beings the quality of your will persistence decides whether your life is going to be stuck in time or depth or breadth or length you remembering which is constant in you and which is not constant in you will not put you in a delusion where you make permanently damaging decisions of your life due to temporary mood swings guru is the person constantly recites in the constant and supports your will persistence to get back to your constant understand i am not trying to brush aside the whole e equal to mc square i am not trying to make the whole einstein's words as wrong is theory is as wrong i am not doing floxy nazi nihili pilification of albert einstein r is e equal to mc square listen the constant which he claims as constant speed of light or time is not constant the real constant is 
Paramashiva, the cosmic consciousness reflecting in your pure inner space, Chita Kasa, that is constant. If just physics can move from time to space and understand this, the whole universe, the whole humanity will become enlightened. I am only asking you, you have come up to time, why don't you just move to space? You have done a great job by coming up to time, move to space. Then you will understand how the length, breadth, depth moving into time loses its various this varying components of heat and time moves into space becomes just knowledge, memory. Understand how Bhuma Devi, earth element, length dimension, Lakshmi Devi, water element, Breath dimension, Durga Devi, the fire element, depth dimension, moves into Kala Devi, Kalika, the time dimension and air dimension, and moves into the Chitambara, the pure reflection of superconsciousness. Understand? When the length, breadth, depth moves into time, it loses its quality of temperature. When the time moves into space, it becomes pure knowledge. Saraswati, Maha Saraswati. Pure knowledge is much more than memory. If the time component is added to pure knowledge, it becomes memory. Memory is like a documents which is not processed. Pure memory, when it reaches the consciousness, it becomes knowledge which is active and alive. So memory which is used by consciousness for its existence is knowledge. Knowledge which is not used by consciousness for its existence our expansion is memory. Understand? Universe is not only expanding, it is also becoming intense. You need to know, if it is only expanding, any one day it may just explode. No. It is exploding in the length, breadth, depth, time and it is imploding in consciousness. It is microscopic and telescopic, imploding and exploding. If you can implode yourself using your will persistence, into your constant, which is the reflection of Paramashiva in you, then you will see implosion and it. Explosion, both are your joy, your game of life. Listen carefully.
implosion into consciousness raises the frequency of your existence that is responsible for explosion of your length breadth depth dimension implosion or explosion both are spontaneous continuous happening so parama shivas five phases of creation sustenance rejuvenation delusion liberation is constant it is continuous it is spontaneous it is out of his sarva swatantra understand just by internalizing the powerful cognitions i am revealing now please watch the satsang at least 10 times you will internalize this internalization will liberate you all silly problems of your life all your problems are you picking up the gun and shooting because you got the ticket for jumping the signal or violating a traffic rule let parking ticket not make you pick up the gun and land you permanently in jail or damage your life all the problems of your life is nothing more than a parking ticket if you understand the cosmos and your relationship with the cosmos and the whole existence of you from your constant i tell you you are constant if you understand immediately the fear of time fear of kala the death will disappear from you operate from this cognition just for few days you will see the fear of death becomes irrelevant and redundant you know there is a constant in you which cannot die which does not die knowing the constant of you and knowing what is in you that is changing you will shift your existence from length breadth depth time to space i am not saying you will not operate in length breadth depth time you will not be bound by length breadth depth time and you will not be making stupid decisions the parking ticket will not make you pick up the gun and shoot the cop you will not permanently damage your life due to temporary mood swings my only job is making your will persistence perceive you are constant as your functional cognition your functional cognition should not be length breadth depth time your functional cognition should be the constant which is parama shiva's reflection in you it is like a parama shiva's atma murti for you like your own version of parama shiva he makes himself permanently available to you as your personal companion he is if you understand the constant in you you have got atma linga from parama shiva direct that is the atma linga you need to really receive from parama shiva the constant should become operating cognition of your length breadth depth time 
all the karmendriya actions of you is length dimension all the jnanendriya which receives information is breadth dimension all the cognition aspects of you means analyzing putting the information together mapping it is a depth dimension of you and converting them for your vision and purpose is time dimension and converting them as a pure knowledge and operating it to expand your existence is space dimension for that you need to know what is actually your existence actually your existence is the pure reflection of the parama shiva in your individual inner space that is the constant you are carrying that is the aham you carry that is actually you the first immediate side effect of that you aham is your will persistence your will persistence is not constant but your reflection the reflection you are carrying of parama shiva is constant i am repeating i am not fluxy not sin nihili pilification of albert einstein or his theory of e equal to mc square i am only saying what he calls as constant is not constant constant is the next dimension it is in the space not in the time it is not the speed of light in the time dimension it is the speed of consciousness in the space dimension the speed of jyoti of parama shiva in the space dimension is constant not the speed of the light in the time dimension i am only asking you just to move to the next then you will understand the cognition of the constant liberates you complete theoretical physics will become practical spirituality with this one understanding if you just move the constant from time dimension to space dimension the whole theoretical physics will become spiritual reality spiritual enlightenment that's all contemplate on it with this i bless you all let's all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching causing living shuddha atvaita saivam parama shivoham the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful